Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I just wanted to show you another video. And this video, I have to tell you that this is the first time I'm actually printing it with myself. So I did a little bit of like tweaking just to see what was what. Um, but if you have the Bamboo X1C Carbon and the AMS, and you want to use like support materials or uh, something like that to sort of show a clear line between where you have the support PLA and where you have the normal PLA because sometimes it's hard to see that when you create a supported structure then the AMS lets you use both a PLA and a support PLA um, the support PLA is usually a type of PLA that's easier to break off and it's usually also in a different color like in my case it's white and my normal PLA is gray and uh, what I couldn't find out on uh, any good videos on YouTube was what is the difference between um, like under under the, in Orca Slicer under support you have this called filament for support support base raft base and raft interface now what is the difference between these two and what wh what you need to remember is base stands for uh, as far as i think the basic pla to print the majority of the support structure with and then you have the interface that is like uh, the the top and the bottom part where you actually can use uh, like like support material um this way you don't need to buy a new roll of support material every time you can just one roll can last forever because maybe you only need to print two or three layers for the support material material and then the normal pla is usually a little bit more uh, uh, expensive so yeah so you can save a lot of support material if you use this uh, correctly now um, there are some values in here you need to know how many raft layers do you want to use and that is basically how many layers of the support material do you wish to use that's a general value of five layers then it will print five layers of the support material then uh, under here you can select uh, which should be what now i want to print the majority of my supports with uh, normal pla and i want to print like just a small piece of interface uh, where the AMS will change to the uh, support material to do the interface and I want to use that for support material and so I, when you, you do the when you read the, the sync with AMS you will get like up here two types of uh, support materials if you don't have a typical bamboo one you have to manually input it even though I have a bamboo one it didn't recognize the support material so I had to manually enter it here uh, now there are some things here if you do not change some settings here it will still print only with PLA now what are those um, first of all the support material will have a different kind of structure so in in my case I would I always prefer to use tree and slim because when you have the majority of the structure it, with the tree and slim it will just generate really narrow small trees and also I don't like to waste unless I'm printing like a like a Iron Man helmet I don't want to waste a lot of materials on the infill of the supports so I can just select hollow inside pattern if I have a rectangle rectilinear pattern and you slice the plate you will see that it's the inside structure basically has uh, uh, an infill let's give it a few seconds so it can refill now if you tilt this a bit you can see that if you scroll down here you will see that you get uh, you see here Maybe not so easy to see, but you can see here it makes crosses over. So we basically see the wider the support becomes, it will create like, uh, it will strengthen the support by making an infill. And you can also increase the infill, etc. But in my case, I always used to like um, 
uh, base pattern a hollow. So you will see that when I now sync it, it will create a hollow interface pattern and it will use a ton less of support material. But because you use normal PLA for the actual support walls, uh, this will still be kind of strong. And uh, let's see, base pattern spacing, that's fine. <coughs> so you see, um, here you have a, a base. If you if you change this to let's just say one, and uh, reslice the plate. Let's see what happens. I changed the rough layers now. So now I have a hollow support structure. See, because I changed this to one, there's only one layer of support material at the bottom. And you can see there is nothing at the top. The top has no support material at all. Now, how, how can you change this? Let's say you want a little bit more uh, support at the bottom. So I, I would probably recommend this to be around three. So you get three layers at the start, so it has a little bit of structure to stand on. And I've used for a hollow. And now we have two values here. It's called top interface, interface layers and bottom interface layers. And these are basically how many lines of layers of support material do you want to use at the top and at the bottom between the normal PLA. So in my case I want to, let's say I want to have three. So you can say uh, top interface face layers I will have three and I will have three at the bottom. And that is the white PLA, the white support PLA. So it, which it will use for interfacing between the main object and the support structure. That is what is called interface. So I slice that again. You also see you have a certain, inter if you want an interface pattern, uh, that is basically like if you get, if it makes a flat surface for you, it will make a certain type of interface pattern. Um, now you see you have, you have the bottom white ones, but you can also see that it's kind of hard to see, but I'll, uh, you see here, it will create the top as well. And you see, this is three layers. Now, I don't know which one is actually best for interface pattern, but uh, I think I want to use grid maybe. Let's see how that would look. The interface pattern is usually the part you want to sand away. So let's say up here at the top where it's actually supporting, you can see it looks a little bit jargon like that. Here you would normally want to have a straight line as possible. So maybe rectilinear would probably be best there. Let's try it again and see, I slice it again. Ideally, if you have like a long stretch, you wanted to just make a long line of support material back and forth and then sort of print under it. It still looks kind of weird, but I think that one would actually be... It looks, looks kind of strong. Uh, let's see if I do rectilinear interface. Now it's only the white support material I'm, I'm adjusting now. See, it says interface pattern. And where you do not have interface pattern, it will basically use normal PLA. Uh, let's see, slice it again. That structure actually looks kind of straight. 
Now let's change it back to Cocentric, which was the original one, and see which one looks more clean. Because I think you want the one that looks more clean, I'm not sure. I think I always use Cocentric, but with normal PLA, and it... Oh, this looks clear as hell. Sorry, I yawned a bit. I think that one looks best here. Yeah, you can see it, it's, it seems okay like that. Now, the thing with this is ideally you don't need so many layers of support material because it's it's what you will sand away. So the more layers you have of support material, the harder it is to sand it down. So I'll just go with, let's trade two layers. If you're wondering what I'm printing here, I'm printing out a new like uh, spooler for the, the, the back of the bamboo, which will have... Um, uh, oh, what's it called? Yeah, it will roll easier than the normal from bamboo, which is pretty shit. It has ball bearings inside it. See, now I only have two layers at the bottom and top, so this would be pretty easy to break off and not so much to sand down once I need to sand it down. Now, you may be wondering, what un what's under here? Well, there is this white piece here. There is two layers going all the way across here, making the, the roof. And I like that it made straight lines under because it makes the support as, as best as possible. So, yeah. Uh, you know what? I have used this before and I wasn't so happy with the result. I think I'm going to try rectilinear interlaced maybe that like on the two top layers it will make it for a smoother transition yeah let's try that so basically when I start to print now, it will print a little bit normal PLA and then it will change to the other one. And <coughs> it will only use white where there is white, so you don't spend so much for it. Okay, so that was just me explaining a little bit about how you manage to make it print with both support PLA and normal PLA and um, uh, what is the difference between the two. So to recap, uh, you have two types. It is top interface layers and bottom interface layers. Uh, by standard, these are set to zero. Uh, so even if you select, even if you select PLA and support PLA here, it will not show it. It will not use it. So you have to make sure you have that and raft layers is, I think it's the bottom one. So yeah, you can see here at the, at the bottom is one of normal support and there is two layers of, uh, two layers of support. If I change the bottom interface layers to three, I think the last gray one here will change. Let's check. In that case, you don't have to do so many changes of uh, on the AMS. So maybe you should always have it to the same. Uh, nope, did not look like it. Okay, so let's see. What if I set that to zero? Maybe it doesn't use it at all. That's interesting. What if I set it to one? Right. 
last layers. Objects will be erased by this number of support layers. Use this function to avoid warping when printing ABS. Uh, so you don't need it on PLA? I don't know. There you can see you only have two. And it's only uh, support until. Let's set that to two lines. Usually I like to use at least two or three lines of attachment to the build plate to avoid it from going <laughs> ups, up down. So that's not bad actually. I think I'll leave it at three. There. I think I'm pretty happy with uh, that. You can see the pattern of the support interface layer here. So yeah, okay. Um, so that is that. I think I'll quit the video here. Thanks for watching again.